injection molding. We have seen many plastic items like baskets, bottle caps, small toy parts and many more. Have you ever wondered how these products are manufactured? The method which we use for making such type of smaller components of plastic is injection molding. Now we will study injection molding in detail. In this process, first the raw plastic material, usually in the form of pellets, is fed through hopper into the injection molding machine and advanced towards the mold by a rotating screw. During this process, the material is melted by heat and pressure. The molten plastic is then injected into the mold very quickly. The amount of material that is injected is referred as the shot. Idle injection time, cooling time and ejecting time are set in the machine manually. The second step is holding and cooling the molten plastic in the mold. In this process, the molten plastic that is inside the mold begins to cool as soon as it makes contact with the interior mold surfaces. As the plastic cools, it will solidify into the shape of the desired part. The mold cannot be opened until the required cooling time has elapsed. The third step is ejection of the finished product. After sufficient time has passed, the cooled part may be ejected from the mold by the ejection system. When the mold is opened, a mechanism is used to push the part out of the mold. In order to facilitate the ejection of the part, a mold release agent can be sprayed onto the surfaces of the mold cavity prior to injection of the material. Once the part is ejected, the mold can be shut for the next shot to be injected.